While some may think that Bitcoin is boring, in this bear market, we've seen the rise of ordinals, NFTs, and tokens on the network on top of clear evidence of institutional interest with the flurry of spot Bitcoin ETF filings by TradFi behemoths like BlackRock, Fidelity, and Invesco. So it may make sense to pay attention to Bitcoin and its ecosystem if you haven't already been doing so. If you're asking what ecosystem, well then stay tuned. Contrary to popular belief, smart contracts are actually possible on the Bitcoin network, but because it is coded in the script programming language, which is not Turing complete, its programmability and thus smart contract functionality is limited. Some examples of smart contracts on the Bitcoin mainnet include things like paid to public key hash, multi-signature hash time lock contract, discrete log contracts, and paid to tap root, which we won't get into here but are essentially used for implementing various forms of Bitcoin transactions. The Lightning Network, which you may have heard of, is one example of a Bitcoin layer 2, which uses simple main chain smart contracts like multi-sigs, HTLCs, and DLCs to enable fast and cheap micropayments of Bitcoin for day-to-day -day transactions. The Lightning Network is currently Bitcoin's largest L2 by TVL with about 150 million locked at the moment. However, to access the possibility of full-fledged DeFi and NFT dApps on Bitcoin, like the ones we see on chains like Ethereum, Bitcoin needs sidechain or layer two solutions akin to Polygon, Arbitrum, or Optimism that have more programmability built in. Some of the main projects which are working on exactly this include Stacks and Rootstock. So let's take a look at those. So Rootstock, AKA RSK, was one of the early, if not earliest entrants in this space, having launched its mainnet in January, 2018. RSK is a Bitcoin sidechain and it's connected to Bitcoin via something called merge mining. So this allows it to borrow some of Bitcoin's underlying security as Bitcoin miners can choose to dual mine rootstock simultaneously with the Bitcoin blockchain with no additional cost and earn transaction fees from RSK. RSK enables smart contracts on Bitcoin using its RSK virtual machine, which is a slightly modified implementation of the EVM and so is compatible with it. Therefore, dApps written in Solidity can be deployed and popular EVM Web3 wallets like MetaMask can be used to interact and transact on the RSK network. It currently has a TVL of about 94 million, which is primarily made up by DeFi protocols, money on chain and sovereign. The other main project is Stacks, which is arguably the more prominent player in this niche at the moment, despite having a lower TVL than Rootstock. It also works somewhat like a side chain similar to Polygon, but for Bitcoin. The project has been around for a while now with an initial version launching all the way back in late 2018 and the current version in January 2021. Stacks inherits the security of the Bitcoin network by anchoring its transactions onto the Bitcoin main chain. It also uses a novel consensus mechanism called proof of transfer, which incentivizes Bitcoin miners with their native token SDX for transferring and securing Bitcoin on the Stacks network. Network. Smart contracts on Stacks are programmed with the Clarity language, made specifically for the platform and meant to improve some of the shortcomings of Solidity. Stacks currently has a TVL of about 44 million and hosts five DeFi protocols according to DeFi Llama. Although this is low, it's worth noting that this is three to four times higher than it was at the start of the year. It probably benefited from the spillover effects due to the rise of ordinals. There are also other smaller projects like New Bitcoin City, who recently deployed a BRC20 DEX forked from Uniswap smart contracts on their Bitcoin Layer 2 platform. As you may have noticed, TVL on these Bitcoin-based platforms is low, even when compared to many altchains, which themselves are a far cry to Ethereum, and the few dApps that have been built on them haven't gained the most traction. However, at this point, we can clearly see that Bitcoin is 
or can evolve to be more than the pet rock that some have dismissed it as. Well, what do you think? Is Bitcoin headed in a good direction? Or do you think it just needs to stick to being plain old money like Satoshi envisioned? Well, this only scratches the surface as it's just an introduction to Bitcoin's ecosystem. But leave us a like if you've learned something from this video or drop a comment if you want us to cover something more in depth. While these layer two like platforms can support NFTs and tokens, they're actually different from the NFTs and tokens on ordinals. So learn more about ordinals, Bitcoin NFTs and tokens from our earlier videos on ordinals and BRC20s.